After the interview, we'll give you a hundred dollar bill. How's this that? Is a big chance. Bro. All right, you ready? Well, you said you're good, then you're perfect for the interview. You mind us? Yeah. 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 Be cool. We just want to ask you the big money question. If you died today, where do you think you would go? I don't know. You don't know? How about you? I've done a lot of bad things. So. Bad of things? Yeah. What kind of bad things? Well, not, not bad things, but... But you said bad things. Well, I think I wouldn't do, wouldn't do good things enough to go to heaven. I think I wouldn't go to heaven. So I ask you guys, if you died today, would would you go to heaven or hell? What do you say? I say hell. Heaven? Heaven? Are you guys good people? Oh, yeah. Have you kept the Ten Commandments? No. Nope. Yeah. Let me ask you a few questions to see if that's true. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. No. Never told a lie? No. <laughs> told You're lie. not lying to me, are you? No. What do you call somebody who lies? A liar. Have you ever stolen anything? I have. You never stole anything either? What do you call somebody who steals? A thief. Right. Have you ever misused God's name? That's the third commandment. Do not misuse the name of the Lord. Like, oh my G-O-D or... Oh yeah. I'm a death. Yes? We got a yes. Okay, this gets all guys. Most guys, I should say. We're in California. Seventh commandment says, you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus says that even if you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery with her already in your heart. Have you ever done that? No. Are you gay? No. You've never looked at a woman with... Oh, I looked at a woman, but I don't... Not like that. Not like what? Not like checking her out. You never check her out? I don't look at her body like that. I don't think bad like that. How about you? No. Both of you guys? Are you from America? All right. All right, one more. Have you ever hated anybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Bible calls hatred murder. So by your own admission, you're a lying thief, blasphemer and murderers and you have to face God on judgment day if God judges you by the standard of the Ten Commandments will you be found guilty or not guilty 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 so where do you think you'd go heaven or hell hell, hell. yeah the Bible says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire no thief no adulterer can enter the kingdom of heaven so you stand condemned right now before God does that concern you that you'd go to hell yeah yeah. Well, yeah, I don't want you to go to hell either. You guys are nice guys, and gosh, we're giving you an opportunity right now to do something so you don't have to go to hell. You know what God did for you so you wouldn't have to go there? No. Any idea at all? Give us another day. Uh, I gave, well, yeah, he did give you another day. That's right. He sent his son, born of a woman, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die on a cross for you. He was buried for three days and rose again. If you turn away from your sin and put your trust in Jesus Christ, God will forgive you and grant you everlasting life. God became a man in the person of Jesus. He suffered and died on a cross for all of your sins. Right now, if you die, you're gonna have to pay the penalty for that sin. But God loved you so much that he sent his son to do that for you. If you repent, turn away from your sin and put your trust in Jesus, God will forgive you. What do you think about that? Pretty nice of him. Yeah. Have you ever heard this? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, will not go to hell, but have everlasting life. What's stopping both of you right now from turning away from your sins and putting your trust in Jesus to be forgiven? Pretty nice. Would you like to turn to him right now? I would. I would. Are you sure you're not doing it just because of him? Would you like to pray right now and Tell God what you've done wrong and put your trust in the Savior? Or do you want to think about it? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay, now what'll happen if you go home today and you get in a car accident and die? Where are you going to go? Hell. Hell. Right, so please don't wait too long. I'm telling you this because 150,000 people die every day, and I don't want you to be part of the ultimate statistic, but you could be today. 10 out of 10 people die. So please think about what I'm saying, okay? Turn away from your sin. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. There's no other way to get to heaven. There's no other way to be saved, okay? What's your name? Danny. Danny, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Luis. Luis, thank you guys. Let me give you a $100 bill. 
Well, I don't have a real one, but I am going to give you a penny as well. Do you guys can each have one, okay? <laughs> <laughs>